In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make an exterior lighting with the help of Arnold's rendering engine. So let's get started. So here's our scene and I have just this tree and some background. As you can see, there's no nothing to create the sky. So if I hit render with Maya's Arnold renderer, it would show me blank because Arnold does not have default light setup. So if you want to see anything, you have to create a light. Fine. So let's go ahead and create a light. Now we can create lights based on Arnold or we can create lights based on Maya's default lights. So let me show you an easy way to get a very nice indirect lighting in Arnold. Create this lighting, we have to go to Arnold menu and you will notice that this Arnold menu is always there uh, no matter which uh, status you are in. So no matter which one you have chosen, you will always find Arnold there. So let's go ahead and click on Arnold and go to lights and there's something called sky dome light. So click on the sky dome light. So this basically creates a big dome. Okay, so all I have to do is just create that sky dome and go to render. And now it creates light by itself. That looks great. But there's some grains which we can fix later. But just compared to having no lights, this is great. And if I uh, want to improve this lighting, uh, I can go to my render settings, which is here. So in render settings, all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Arnold renderer and you'll see this camera just to bump this up to 10. So now I will just save this image, make a new render. Let's see what I get. Keep in mind, the more quality that you add up, uh, the render time will be more and the better computer you will need. Fine. It took about 39 seconds to make this render. Great. Anyway, so let's compare it with the previous one. So you've got a lot of grains and we don't have any grains, which is great. Fine. So next thing that we want is we want to create some shadow. You can see that the entire scene is very flat, uh, except the fact that we have some nice indirect lighting here in these edges areas. Edge areas, we have some uh, darkened result, which is great. Fine. So let me add a light now. So let me minimize that and go to my create menu and then choose lights and choose direction light. Fine. So I think my direction light is created somewhere down here. I'll pull it up and make it bigger. Great. And I want to choose an angle. So let's pick up an angle like that. I think that looks fine. So let's go ahead and try the renderer once again. I'll save this image and make a new render. Okay, so compared with the previous one, we have some depth here now. Looking good. Uh, let me just try to increase the uh, light's intensity a bit. And I can do that by choosing my direction light. And we can also add some color if you want to. Uh, all I'm just going to do is I'm going to increase this intensity to something like 10. So let's see how this works out. And <clears throat> uh, these uh, settings that you have to change depending on the kind of scene that you have. Uh, if you have a very small scene, then you can keep the intensity to be very low. If you have a larger scene, then you might have to keep the uh, increase the intensity to a higher value. Now you can see that with intensity of 10, I have a much better result now. Okay, that looks great. So let me just compare it with the previous one. Okay, so compared with that one, with a higher intensity, it makes it more like a daytime scene. And you can see that the shadow is actually falling on the other side. I want to have the shadow just coming towards me. And so what I'll do is I'll change the camera's angle a little bit. Okay. So if you want to see the sh uh, see where the shadow is coming, we can also turn on the light and the shadow. So it will actually show us where the shadow is falling. So that looks nice. I'll keep the shadow here. Okay, if you want to have a longer shadow, you can also adjust the light. Put it like so. Okay, good. So let me just make a new render. I'll take the render view, save this image, make a new render.
And now all we have to do is just one little thing that is the background sky. So let's go to the render settings and uh, in the Arnold tab there is something called environment. Go inside the environment and choose a background. And we can choose either the sky shader or the physical sky shader. I'll choose sky shader so we have a sky by itself. I will just select this background area just to make a render. Okay, so it comes with just white color, so, uh, and you will also notice that the sky shader is actually influencing the entire scene. It's making it more brighter. If you like the result, you can keep it. If you don't like it, then we can change it. So I'll go to the options here for the sky shader, and there it is, the color. So if you don't want this uh, sky shader to affect the entire scene, what we can do is we can turn off this visible and diffuse, visible and glossy, that's it. So we'll just keep the primary visibility and I'll just render the small region so we can see what change has happened. Okay, you can see that the mountain looks the same, but we have the sky with the white color. So I don't like a white color sky, so what we can do is we can go to the um, color options here. If you just want to have a plain color, you can just choose a color that you like and that color would appear here. Okay, that's just a plain color, but it's kind of boring, so we can add a ramp shader, so which which will help us to create a gradient-like appearance. So in color, let's go to options and click on ramp. Fine. So ramp basically has two colors, black and white. We can change the colors, select it, go down, and pick up lighter blue color down here. And for the top, I will add a new color which would be a darker blue okay so let's test it out see how this comes out uh, I'm just going to render the top area which should be a bit faster Great. So all we did was three things first thing we created a, a dome light which is from Arnold lights and sky dome light the second thing we created a directional light which comes from uh, Maya's default lights which is in create lights and directional light and the last thing that we created was a sky from the render settings Arnold environment and background so which gives us this final result so we can compare the results from before this was the first one and then we remove the grains and then we got the next light added we tweaked the light we positioned it in the final place and added the sky so this concludes this video in creating exterior lighting with the help of arnold with in maya 2017 thank you